Damn, you get plus three Ergo on this? Yo, this might be a new meta build. Okay. Put this guy up for now. Same with this guy. Only 37 Ergo, but we could trade out this guy for a better grip. We'll look for that later. You gotta turn that in. Only level 14 strength. A good spawn. I have to get up into resort this round. I guess we can go loot the new area. I, I need people to go into resort, unlock the item or unlock the doors for me. I, I grabbed the controller last round. If I could get them to unlock the doors, it'd be so nice, dude. Cause that's really the thing that's gatekeeping me is it, or just keys. There's not many quests I can do without keys. And the ones that I can, I don't need to for max traders. I'm all out of breath too. Jeez, brother. If I could complete signal part four, which I have to get in key rooms for, that would open up a lot because I'd get RBS. Well, I'd get signal part five or not signal. Um, something part four, spot tour. If I could do spot tour part four, it open up part five. Yo, hop two. Okay. Where were you last round, you bitch? But it'd open up part five, which is easy, then part six, which is easy. And then I'd get RBST, so I'd be able to finish another quest. Two other quests actually. Which should open up more quests. So right now I'm just I'm kinda gate kept by uh keys. I'm also looking for uh, a hand drill. A hand drill would be nice. Because that's the last part I need to build my weapons rack. The weapons rack, I think, takes 24 hours or something anyway. So I won't get that today, but I can at least start it today. It's an easy item to find. I'm not sweating that. Also need this tool set. That was easy. I'm probably gonna go check uh, resort and see if I can't get in the rooms, because that's bigger than the hand drill. I'm not I'm not worried about the hand drill. And you keep checking the car, make sure no one takes it out. There you go. We're not in a major rush to get up to the resort. The longer we stay out of the resort, the better, actually, because it allows people to uh, unlock the rooms we need. So we can come check for weapon attachments over here. We'll go drop our shit at the car and then we can go. Mm, I don't think I really need PPMO. I've got like a thousand rounds of it. Another hand drill. <laughs> I think my hiding spot will be this push here. I need I'm, my main goal this raid is to go hit resort late and check to see if the key, if someone unlocks the keys. This is a hardcore count, so I can't just buy my quest keys. And since I haven't been lucky enough to find the quest keys I need for, ow. Okay, maybe we will reset. And then again, he probably... Probably just came from resort, so that means it's likely even more clear. I tried swapping my uh, reticle there to long range, and it didn't. So that was the hesitation on the shot.
Let's go to resort. <laughs> Level 40. We're up to 40 now. If you play range, I think like a low to mid FOV is better. I don't like super low FOV. Uh, your character, he's, he runs the same speed, but it just seems like he runs so slow. And you end up missing stuff in your in your peripheral. I play on 63 personally. get 306 it's open as well big so I bet you his, his dudes looted uh, the other side too Zai 75 Vaughn appreciate you bro coming into tier 1 and Rage coming in with the Twitch Prime as well thank you guys much love Grenades going off at the other side. Scary. Sprint through this open area. Get indoors. I'm gonna try to make sure the car is not taken again. It's weird not to find any bodies to company those nades no maybe it's 216 no I'll say yeah the two keyed rooms is big I'm I'm happy with the run for sure I don't have any problem there big dubs you take you up you put you on take you there you go I have a lot of meds so I'm not that worried about those it's a good run though I mean we got our hand drill so we get to start our uh weapons rack in the hideout it's huge so yeah I mean I've had this MDR for a bit now I just haven't used it and hold it on to it also got an MPX now. I can't believe you rocked down to 72. Some people just live life on the edge. It's not the best weapon. I've got... that would probably be my worst weapon in the stash, honestly. I've got quite a, quite a few meta ones. That's a big one. And the biggest the biggest part of that is we got into 110 and uh, two, West 219. So we got two quests there. One of them being Spot Tour, which is fucking huge. Or no, we didn't get in West 219. I'm sorry. Fuck. Never mind. We did get... The quest done for Lindley's. We have to go to Woods to get the other Lindley's parts. And I don't even think we got all of Lindley's because we have to go into West 216. Fuck. Come on. But we got 110. <laughs> and it's nice to have the other one unlocked, so. That doesn't even lead into anything. Son of a bitch. Now we're only missing uh, 0 0.01 to get this guy done. So he's practically done. We'll get him done naturally. The last one is getting this fucker leveled up. Which is going to be a bitch. We need to get into West 219, honestly. That's going to be the biggest thing. Which if we hit filing cabinets, we might find the key ourselves. How many raids do you have on this account? Uh, 194. Oh my gosh, now we're missing this guy. Because he is in use crafting this. Son of a bitch. It's okay, those are easy to find. We did get an obtuse stem, which is nice. That's huge. That means we can have like a super fat raid and uh, we'll be fine. We can carry it all out. If I would have had that obtuse stim, the other raid. Oh my God, dude. We would have been so well off. 
Oh, I love the loot clicks. It's the best part of the game, dude. Shoreline's been good to me, I will say. We, I mean, we can go back. Was it go for this count? I want to get to max traders. Um, minimum. I probably gonna end up pushing it to Kappa. That all depends on how much fun we're having with it. And if it car carries on with how much fun I'm having now, we're gonna end up going for Kappa. I think we, and we go back to resort or shoreline. Yeah, same thing. The flares left. One in a meta build. Like I still got my meta spear with a decent amount of hybrid ammo. Got a pretty meta. It's missing different grip, but and carbon. Still really good SR25. Nice SR SVDS. Um this meta flear. SR25. Another pretty meta SR25. Another decent SR25. In here. The M1A I need for a uh, test drive. Two SA58s. And an HK. HK is still pretty bare bones. So I need to adjust it a little bit. We'll add to it as we go. I got a suppressor I can throw on it. Armors, we're kind of limited. We got an AVS and an Osprey. The AVS um, has decent plates in it. The Osprey has level 6 plates in it. Then we got this guy, which is level 5. Level 5 plates. We're doing okay. Could be better. Could be worse. Do you need the paracord for shoreline? Yeah, they added in the red rubble extract. So we do need we do need a paracord for this map. Honestly, we could just loot a bunch of jackets down here. God, when they nerfed jackets, this area shoreline in general got a huge nerf, but this area in general got a got a big nerf. It's like that's a big portion of shoreline is this this whole area and this whole area the main prize are the jackets there's a ton of jackets here and jackets you used to pull a lot of keys out of and that'd be the main way you got keys were from the jackets and they nerf them oh, years ago no joke probably three years ago it's like i feel like you're more than more likely to find a key in a jacket then you are a filing cabinet. Filing cal cabinets, you know, like information items, sure. sure. But the fact that you find like bartering items, well, hideout upgrade items, bartering items, makes kind of sense, I guess, but uh, hideout upgrade items in them. It's just, it's weird. I tried playing World of Warcraft one time. Uh, I didn't like it. It wasn't the, it was the classic World of Warcraft when they, when they first released, re-released classic. I like that style of game. I, I played the fuck out of old school RuneScape. So I'm sure I would like World of Warcraft as well, but I, uh, it, I tried to get into the classic whenever they did the re-release because all my friends were getting into it and it, It was way too much running. <laughs> I didn't have the mounts and stuff. I just felt like I was always running and I was, uh, my friends outpaced me so heavily and I was kind of just playing a, a game with them. If I want to play that solid game, I'd probably just end up, uh, playing old school RuneScape. Old school RuneScape stat reveal win. I have a screenshot of it, I think. GL and GF. Nine, 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 nine. I was working on getting range 99 and then I'm going to get magic to 94 or 85 probably just for uh, TB or whatever. Tele block. Or farming. I wasn't a big farmer. <laughs> As you can tell. I'm about to give up on looking in jackets because holy cow, this has not been the move. I think I'd probably just need to push filing cabinets. Yeah. F jackets, dude. They're dead to me. Oh. We got Sanitar up.
What the fuck? There's a trap there. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first Sani all wipe. I haven't gotten them literally all wiped. I haven't really tried for them. Because on my main account, I whenever I was playing Shoreline, I was like not playing, not going for them because I needed uh to get the the black key card off him. Well, not off him, but off not killing him. This is the Twitch friend, brother. There's still there's still a guy up. And I'm still on colleagues. So I haven't even gotten his. I haven't gotten the quest to not kill him yet. But on this account, I think I'm just going to kill him. Oh, I don't know who that scout's shooting at. Little bitch. Definitely heard that ADS, but to pre fire me like he did? I don't know, man. I don't know. He heard me for sure. That was just one hell of a pre-fire. The nade, he, he, he probably heard me ADS. In him. I have to get in there. I, I needed to make sure you have fully unlocked the door. This was not at all. Not at all. I, I needed to get in there. Plus, there's a guy to my left. The guy to my left heard me. I'm hoping this guy goes to loot Sani. Still on loot Sani. I'll just I'll headshot him when he does. <laughs> Damn, I bet you Sani did have a card. I bet you Sani did have a card on him. I had almost guarantee Sandy had a card on him they won't see the card on Sandy until it's open loot and then then they'll see it 300 hours level 51 plus the play honestly the second guy's play wasn't as sus but to the m856 garbage ass ammo level 51 nah it didn't happen not with a meta kit that's that's cheater all, all day it is what it is but that's cheater all day dude unfortunate is what it is yeah i barely had to report on this account i i honestly think uh, the cheaters avoid me on this account. They see my stats and hours and level and stuff, and they're like, yeah, this dude's rage hacking. For your stats. 18.4 with 59% uh, survival and 
480 hours. Plus a fake TTV name. Ah, we had pack a loss. No boss. Sag. We need metal cutting scissors. Bring back Red Rebel to the woods. That'd be cool. I don't know why I brought in my paracord and Red Rebel. <laughs> that was an accident. Well, I was going to play a shoreline. We still can. I just wanted to run a woods to see if we could get the boss spawn. Because if I kill Sturman, the next one is to where I can use the bolt action with the suppressor to kill more, over 75 meters, and I have three of them. Oh. And so I can uh, do that plus go for Tarkov Shooter 7. That's one thing I would like to see them remove from the game or fix, personally. It's helpful when you're hunting the bosses, but... It does end up... Uh, Making the raids a little dead. Damn, homie's out. He's likely out at least. He could be hanging down here. I'll take it. We didn't we didn't get Sturman. I mean we could try woods one more time. Try woods one more time. A good spawn. 48, do we have pack of loss? Yeah. No boss. Alright. This hardcore counts. It's been so fun, dude. The, the hours fly by. Like a blink of an eye and it's already late. Damn, someone's already taking the car out. Looks like we're going out. Oh, uh, I'll post. Outskirts, brother. All right, the shoreline. I think I'm gonna break out the MPX though. Oh, shoreline. Let's get it. I haven't had much luck with jackets. Finally, cabinets I find keys in. I feel like it's... I, this could just be an observation biasness, but I feel like it's map dependent. You're more likely to find the key you need for the map you're on. Or the key, like, you're more likely to find a key for the map you're on. Are you going to try for Kappa? I think so. I, I, originally, I was just wanting to go to Max Traders, and I was going to leave Kappa as like a... If I'm having a lot of fun, I'll go for it. Dude, it's been so much fun. Legitimately, blink of an eye, and it's it's gone by. Someone mentioned that you were trying to... Uh, get them to do a hardcore server, I'd play the fuck out of it. I think people would have an absolute blast on a hardcore server. Like, outside of, um... needing a second account to do a hardcore account, I think I think that is the biggest hindrance on keeping people from trying hardcore is uh, having to compete against people that aren't playing hardcore. When you're going up against guys that can buy meta ammo and meta weapons and gear, it, it really takes away the, um incentive for any casual player to try hardcore the event will be april or may if i can get it to happen be on early test server that'd be perfect either a player dc or a scav running into a closed door the player dc we'll just leave them that is a scav running into a closed door My question is, yeah, it's just, I think it's just regular ass cab. Yep. The longer I stay around here, the more risk I'm running too. There's gonna be someone that hears it and needs kills once they come third party. We'll just bounce. I don't need to go into the resort early though. I don't really have anything else we could do on this map. Unless we wanted to go for the new area and get a uh, metal cutting scissors. Dude, solo only. I mean, I'm sure you, you played during that week that uh, it was like three days or something where so you couldn't squad.
But dude, it was so much fun playing knowing that like everyone on the map was a solo. It was so much fun. Oh my god, my shot right now. I was trying to lead way too much. Which 9 mil has a really slow travel time, but still, that was atrocious. Side, yeah. Because normally you get you got a couple squads or a couple you know a few duos and a few solos all matched in one raid, but whenever it's when you have only solos or even like some duos added in, it's so many more spots being taken up on the map. You know, normally you got the, you got one squad here, you got the duo over here, duo over here, solo, solo, solo. It's literally solo, 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 solo. It's all, all taking up all the, uh, the areas makes it, makes it really fun. It's, uh, definitely a challenge, but knowing you can win a fight and then you're like, okay, I might get third party, but I definitely don't have someone camping a body as heavily. Whenever I solo, it's like, okay, I killed this guy. Where's his teammate? The, the rule of all, there's always one more, always one more. With a bunch of solos, there's definitely the threat of the third party, though. At least with that threat, they, they aren't for sure on, like, your last known location and where the body you killed is most of the time. I play solo because I'm too lazy to learn callouts. That's the hardest part of playing with a squad. Is this you? Is this you? Where are you at? The enemy's, um, he's by, um, he's by, by tree, by the rock. It's next to the wall. I don't think there's anything on the east side that I can actually use that I need to go for. Yeah, have a good one, Pestley. Appreciate you hanging out, brother. I'll be on the lookout for the, uh, the info on the hardcore series or hardcore, um, servers. Yeah, Pestley's one to, uh... He's wanting to do a hardcore only server. Look at this Chad breaking glass and jumping in. Need him to unlock doors for me. Shit. I hate how low how loud the ADS is. You know, the ADS. Yeah, actually, on my main, a lot of times that's what I would do. If I saw a bag like that, I'd go, I'd grab it and, I mean, not that bag, that bag's kind of shitty. Man, I actually checked this room. He probably heard me ADS and was like, there's one more here. That's my guess, because he like ran upstairs above me. He had to have heard me ADSing. ADSing is so loud. 
Yo, that level five plate came in clutch there. about to be juiced out of my mind. See the other two bodies? Yeah, oh, GG's clutch. Did you hear me ADS? How loud how loud was the ADS? Pretty loud. Oh shit, you aren't kidding. Sound pretty loud, fuck. I knew it, dude. Fuck, man. Oh, Jesus. Well, I'm not taking either of these guns out, that's for sure. CSS is worthless. Nah, I use my guns. It's a hardcore count, so I can't buy any of this shit. So certain things carry more value than others. Normally I wouldn't worry about taking that because I have I have plenty. Or I can buy it really easily rather. Mm, I don't think I'm gonna end up taking they get 12. Oh, we can hold on to it for now. Ooh, that HK is torn. But I do have an HK in my hideout that I can use it with. Fuck, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to bring this over here and we're going to organize it. HK is going to jam. Yeah, but I, I have a brand new HK that I can put all the parts on. We're going to strip this guy. Fuck. I think we keep them lock over that. You're so heavy. Yeah, I know. For real. Oh, fuck, dude. There's still these two guns. Jesus. to ditch this helmet because we, we don't need that helmet. We're going to move this over here. Give a little bit of room. 
There. That on there. I mean, I think the same thing. We just, we just, we're just going to get, we're going to strip it. As much as I would like it, it just isn't in the cards this round. I should have checked to see if there's any more other any other people up. Car has not been taken. I don't have cash for the car. We got road customs. It's not that far away. And yeah, we make it with these. I need to get the red rebel off. Oh, Sherman, I found it. Getting the excels was clutch, dude. And a Comtac four. Upgraded my armor. Two more armor sets. Four meta weapons. Ammo, sights. This is a big round here. Yeah, I have to go through the scariest opponent of them all. The AI scav. And we had time to spare, dude. It's a cool name. Assault rifle. We got four different calibers too, which was huge. The stats. 60% with an 18.7 KD. And he saved the RSAS for Gunsmith. I've got other 7.62 uh, 5.1 weapons to rock to. Under this M4. This thing's actually kind of nut nutty. It's a good build. Do we want to bring in the trooper? That's armored rig. Yeah, I mean, I, I could rock an armored rig. That also is going to take up more space in my stash. <laughs> Little limited on the storage space, I will say. Little limited on it. Damn, you get plus three Ergo on this? Yeah, this might be a new meta build. On the real. Wonder how it'd do with a uh, shorter barrel. What about recoil? It's 52. That's like, that is really good. <laughs> I mean, we could try resort again. I don't think I need a trooper bag. I am a big fan of drip. I, I like I like my characters looking cool. I did drop a little bit too much money on my League of Legends account, having cool skins. I don't regret it. But I don't play League anymore, and, you know, at the time, I, I probably should have saved my money. That was in high school. Like college. Really college. How'd you find about Tarkov? <laughs> I was on Twitter, and... I saw, I saw someone post, yo, thanks so-and-so streamer for the 10 Bitcoin I got from your drops. And this is back when Bitcoin, I know it's back to this point, but this is back when Bitcoin was like $50,000 for one Bitcoin IRL. And I was like, no shot, she, or, or no shot Tarkov is giving away cryptocurrency for their drops. Like this person just got $500,000 for watching Twitch. Like sign me up. I immediately went over to Twitch. Um, Summit had his drops that day. And I watched Summit. I still remember the, the fight. I remember I remember the first thing I watched on Tarkov. Uh, Summit was in on interchange and he was in the rafters uh, and he was fighting a five man and he killed three of them and they were clueless, bro. They had no, they, they were, had no clue where the hell they got shot from. Um, and then the fourth man ended up spotting him. A little bit of a skirmish. Summit got down from the Raptors and flanked around and got both of them from behind. And I remember thinking like, damn, this game looks sick. This map looks sick. I want to play it. And I got it on a Thursday. I got it that Thursday. I think I bought it like the Monday or some shit. But that Thursday and that Friday are, are there. Yeah, I started playing on Thursday. That Friday and Monday I had off from work. So I played the fuck out of it that weekend. I mean, I know lifed it. Completely different game back then. But my first wipe, I ended with 10,000 PMC kills. It was like 10,400 or something. All I did was push PvP. Um, I, I came from competing professionally in PUBG, so I was a sweat lord. And 
I was streaming. I, the Tarkov is why I started with the stream. And so I'd work eight to five um, during uh, on my day job as a recreational wellness coordinator for an all-inclusive care for the elderly organization. Oh shit, this isn't good. So I got to work with disabled senior citizens on their mental and physical health wellness. And I did that eight to five Monday through Friday, came home, turned on the stream, streamed until I was too tired. Oh, fuck. I don't think you heard me. See, I, I'd stream like eight hours a day on Tarkov, eight to 10, like six to 10. I did it seven days a week. I streamed 675 days in a row. Uh, I don't know if I want a pilgrim on this map. Okay, I'm gonna take a pilgrim. And when, whenever I started, there wasn't any found in like found in raid status wasn't a thing there was no flea market restrictions so you can buy and sell anything on the flea as soon as you got to level four you could you could buy and sell anything on the flea and the guy that was teaching nice we needed that the guy that was teaching me tarkov uh i don't know, I don't know if i should be looting this right here okay the guy that's teaching me tarkov i competed with in pubg so we uh, I had already had a lot of hours with him. So, and we were, you know, familiar with each other's play style. But I played Labs and Customs. That was it. Labs and Customs. And this is back when Customs was, uh... Was only the north side of the map. There wasn't, like, Stronghold. There wasn't Old Gas. And this is also back when dorms was really good because marked room was was super fucking good. Marked room was really good. Uh, you can get like red key cards. You can get any case out of there besides um, items cases, thick items cases, thick weapons cases, and lucky scab junk box. So you can get like sick cases with red key cards in them. You can get weapon cases, like regular weapon cases. Med case, grenade box. You'd find like one to two in there out of a 25. And the key use was 25. It wasn't 10 out of 10, it was 25. So dorms was a shit show. And we had a, we had a rat strat down, dude. Dorms, every single raid, there was like 10 people that would go there. Every single raid. There also wasn't any weight restrictions. Like as long as you weren't over this number right here, this number would change based on your strength. But as long as you weren't over that number, you can move just as if you, it, one or 72. It didn't matter. You, you'd move the same speed. And I kind of just want to take the car out, but the whole goal of this round is to go into resort. So you could buy shit from the traders and sell them flee. Yup. <laughs> yup. There was bots that would, they would do that shit. And a lot of players just did it too. I will say this version of Tarkov is much more in line with what I pictured Tarkov being when I first started playing it. I, I thought it was going to be slower, you know, more Milsim esque Not run and gun Call of Duty <clears throat> like it was. It was very run and gun. Oh, and one more thing that made it easier whenever I started and probably the biggest thing was uh, the player base as a whole were noobs it, it was when the game like was first hitting mass popularity like mass popularity and uh nine out of ten people that you'd run into were noobs they were they were new to the game now like a lot of the people you run into are, are veterans or, or it's not as rare to run into a veteran i kind of have to wait for people to work their way through resort I think I do go up there, though. 
trying to think like how late in the raid it starts at 45 right started 45 so i think we can kind of work there now he's waiting until players leave resort not so much waiting until they leave i'm okay with them being there i don't mind killing them and taking their loot i am mainly waiting until there's more time for them to unlock the doors i need because like working your way through and looting all of resort takes probably like 20 minutes if you run into any sort of contestion i want to push down the first floor here and then push up the second floor and then peek down I am probably done with shoreline for the night. I just don't, I don't think I'm going to find enough. Uh, yeah, Snokes, appreciate the raid, brother. How'd the stream go? I don't think I'm going to have enough people on, on shoreline this late at night. It's 3 a.m. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have enough people on shoreline to unlock the doors for me. It'd be better to go to like resort and hunt keys or... I don't know. The only thing I have to do on Shoreline is get in those rooms. What's your honest opinion on Shoreline? It's grown on me. It literally was... I hated this map in the previous wipes. Out of my top three, top four. Yeah, the terrain changes, the added extracts, the uh, new loot area over there is not bad. Resort audio is still borked, but if you get good fights there dude they're so good when i was doing the zero or yeah zero to 100 kilogram challenge where i'd go in with I started with literally just a raid bag ended up getting a um a weapon from a stash or a case or duffel bag or something killed a scab took that scab's weapon went and oh no i got an impact grenade i got an impact grenade grenaded a player then Grabbed his gear. I ended up killing nine players that round. Three trios. Three different trios. I didn't get damaged once. That fight was so fucking fun. Like, all three of them. So fun. And Resort's been like that a lot, dude. It's actually been... It's been really good PvP up at east side, west side. It's fun. So, it's growing on me. It's growing on me. I told you Resort isn't what it used to be. I don't know. I like it. Nice. We're going to have that tomorrow. I used to not be a fan of Shoreline at all. And so I, you know, I, I've got limited, uh, I played it a lot, but in comparison to the other maps, it's my least played by far. Show the gun. Yeah, my bad. So that's it right there. I wonder what it'd be like if we wanted to rock the 370 Do low pro with the G lock 59, but it only gained one. So that's not worth. So what about the 13? 61 and you throw on this guy 65 damn but yeah 58 with 52 for the ergo to that recoil reduction that's pretty nasty i will say i was impressed by the build get down in the basement we need two raiders down here i'm actually on pest control on this account as well Damn, no raiders. I kind of just hurt my shoulder. I ain't gonna lie. That kind of fucking hurt. Only four more kills on this. Yeah, Gluhar, having Gluhar and his guards over here is like the easiest way to get this done. No, not anymore, Denant. I, I changed it. It helped with FPS a little bit, but it made uh, stuff in the far background not render unless I was looking at like a certain area. Yeah, come on in, buddy. 
You son of a bitch. I don't know where that scab went. Oh, I found him. It's gonna hurt if I do that. No, okay, I know, I know. Wow, that did more damage than I thought it was gonna going to. Please, please, please. I'm missing my chance. Damn it, you took my arm. It doesn't matter. Killed him. Okay, we just need one more. Nice. Quest I'm going to. That's what I'm going to do now. Check all the quest keys. Hmm. No. I should check that other one, but I'm not that worried about it. I can't even fucking see him, dude. Where are you at? <laughs> Holy peekaboo, you stupid, stupid AI scab. He headshot me too, dude. Shot me right in the face. going on All right. 
please, RBS team. Be open. No. 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 Oh. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I don't like this vision blur from being damaged, but we're almost out. I don't want to pop the uh, painkiller. I want to use the morphine. Imagine that scab had his way with me, dude. I would have been toast. Red Rebel. Fuck yeah, I do. You like this right here? Look at that. Look at that. Got it off Sturman. Dude, that's actually so fucking big. I finished three quests there. Statistically speaking, I, I, I doubt it. I doubt it. We, get, we kill Gluhar, we get a weapons case. Look at this. Boom. Boom. Now I just have to go down to D2. Oh my god, dude. We can we can get it. This opens up so many quests, I think. No, this doesn't open up any quests. <laughs> that does nothing for me. Alright, so we get 0 0.02, 0 0.02. So we're only going to be at 0.39. It's like we have to knock out one of these quests. And I think Spa Tour, the Colt. Like these two. I can't, I can't remember which one... Just unlocks a fuck ton. Not the Colt, that's for sure. Spa Tour leads to Spa Tour Part 5, which leads to Spa Tour Part 6, which leads to Spa Tour Part 7, which leads to Wet Job Cargo Green Road. <sighs> we really need West 219. I'll have to just uh, go to Resort and hope that someone unlocks it. That's really it. On the plus side, Resort's been fucking popping, dude. Doing one more raid? No, that is actually... Probably where I'm gonna call it because I am uh, I'm hungry, dude. I gotta get some food. I'm fucking starving, and and the only quest I have is gonna be on Shoreline. I need someone to unlock the door or find the key, so I'm gonna try and get it late. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so very much. I can't stress that enough. Um, all the followers and lurkers and chatters and subs, get the subs, donos, biddies, everything. Seriously, like from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so very much. I could not do this without you, and and without that support, it. it yeah, couldn't do it without you.